the Supreme Council, the Scottish Rite, Northern. This is this is somebody being inducted into the Freemasons. George, do you know who just subscribed to the channel? Who? Your mom! My mom! Well, actually, their mom. And you should subscribe, too. What the hells are you waiting for? What are you? So, what are we going to do today, George? Today, we're going to continue unboxing the train unit that you got for yeah. $170. It's been a pretty awesome unit so far. Uh, it's been absolutely filled with, incredible. Filled with tons of... Money. Does that box say what I think that box says? Can you read upside down? Um, let me see. <laughs> it uh, says mushroom canisters. Mushroom canisters. I can read upside down. <laughs> Here you go. What's that? For you. It's amazing. Now that she's fun employed, I, I apparently have a crooked knife all the time. Uh -huh. I carry I, it in my back pocket. What do I do with it? Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. And slice and dice. Wait, never cut towards the sausage. But it works. Here we go. All right, let's see what's inside. This unit is the gift that just keeps on giving. Oh, check this out. Vintage do, Pyrex. Do you see it? Pyrex. The old color on the Pyrex. Yep. Pie plate right there. That's some money. Is that another Pyrex? Yeah. Another Pyrex. There it is. See I've it? had a couple subscribers reach out. They like the Pyrex. Telling us to keep us in mind if we find any vintage Pyrex. They do love the Pyrex. So if you guys are ever interested in buying Babe, anything Babe, do you know what this is? Unboxing. There's that mushroom. Do you remember the other set that we sold? We sold to one of our subscribers. Is it identical to this? Uh, we didn't design? have a salt and pepper shaker, but hold a second. I hold bet that's second. it right there. There was a clock that was with it, with the canisters. I bet you this is the exact same Sears and Roebuck canister set. Do you think the it person is, that it bought is, the it is. canister look, set? Look, 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 look. Yep. It's the same set. Nice. All right. Let's see. Put that there. All right. We definitely... That one has a little bit of a crack in it. See that crack right there? But Sears... Oh, right there. Right there. It looks like they repaired it. Sears and Roebuck, apparently. Yep. So the lids are there. That one's got some cracks oh, as well. It looks like they fixed it. Yeah, it looks like they tried to fix it. Well, if these guys were antique collectors, they probably tried to fix everything. We had so many people who wanted this. So many people who wanted this set. So this is the second set that we've ever found. Yep. There's the lid right there. Yeah, that one's got cracks. It looks like they fixed that too. Uh, I think this lid goes on that one. There you go. So you can see where they probably were collecting this stuff and repairing it at the same time. So this one's not in the best, the best condition ever, but it's here. So usable. Well, it was still usable before <laughs> Mrs. Fumble Nuts there went crazy. Wow. Uh, this isn't... I don't want to be labeled Mrs. Fumble Nuts. This... Ooh, a cookie truck. That's a cookie jar. It's a cookie truck. Is that the lid? There's your There's lid. The lid. Right there. Look at that. How cool is that? You got a cookie truck, cookie jar. Are there other, other markings on the bottom? No, I didn't see anything. Super cool though. You know what I really love about this unit? That every box is taped. Every box and labeled. Labeled and is filled with money. And this one says old telephone parts. 
So let's find out. This says telephone parts too. Let's find out what kind of cell phone is in here. Let's hope for an iPhone. Do you think this is iPhone or do you think this is Samsung? I what do you think? I feel like iPhone or Samsung's too modern for you this unit. You think Droid? You think it's a Droid? No. Come on, neither, baby. Neither. Baby, this is old cell phone. I mean phone, telephone. Baby, this is draws. This is some of my pants. 12 pieces telephone. Two pieces, receiver, very fragile, hope it didn't break. I wonder if they were, this had to be like an antique store. Oh my goodness. Yeah, here's the old bell. That's so cool. This is taped up, look at this, look at this. No way. <laughs> That's the mouthpiece. There it you go. Says Look, ringer guard. There's the dial, and this is a. <laughs> Baby, I think. Okay, this would have. Would that have hung up here? Wait, that would have. Yeah, like that's that. Hangs. Look at this. Here's the little cranker. Wow. 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 I just. I wonder what just this part would be worth. Here's the back screws, the top turn pack. All right. Here's the mouthpiece. Look at this, this is, this might be a bell. Here's the ear hanger. No, this must be a speaker. The door lock. The jack. Wow. Wow. Do you think the actual phone is in here like a big box? I don't know. It's obviously all padded with clothing. Okay. All right, that's just clothing. Oh, something's in here. Something big is in here. <clears throat> Wrapped in this moo moo. Baby, if it takes a moo moo to make the moolah, then that's what it takes. <laughs> Look, they taped it all up. What's it labeled? Mm, mount pieces, mount fragile piece. pieces with receiver. Wow. It says fragile. You don't you don't want to go cap and pump on that stuff. Wow. Wow. No way. So you talked into this. The other part was the earpiece. You would talk into this. So that would mount in. This was the speaker that you would talk into. Look at that. Century Telephone Construction, Buffalo, New York. Can you just find more? This is, is labeled wooden shelf, question mark. Wooden shelf. So would this be the shelf oh, there that you the go. phone hung on? There you go. There's what the phone was hung on. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. This one's an odd box. Look, it says loose, loose old, old. No top. And then it says I. I don't know about you, but I don't want to see any loose, old, no top I. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is going to be interesting. Fight it, fight it, fight it. All right, loose old, no top. I. <laughs> oh, it's a box in a box. In a box. In a box. And a, another box. That one says Dad's slide rule. Okay. What we do this? This is drifting or drafting. You Here. open yours first. All right. Looks like we got a whole bunch of old stuff. United States Steel's Little Wonder. Wonder. It's a vest pocket radius gauge steel finder. Look at that. Looks like there's, wow, there's all Is kinds. That the same thing? These are all measurement tools from the olden days before we had the internet and apps. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the skin I love to touch. Some kind of advertising piece. Look at this. 
decimal, all kinds of stuff. What is this? Gauges, measuring tools. Oh, glass cleaner. That's a glass cleaner? Yeah, they're just like... Look at this. Here's a calculator for pulleys and belts. This stuff is incredible. Pocket lumber scale. Yeah, see? Keep your glasses clean. Could you imagine somebody actually using this stuff today? They would be so lost. Look at this. Look at that ruler. Wow. That's really... Taking it back. Uh, yeah, I'd Taking say it so. Way back. Folds in, folds in, and then pivots down. Wow. Does this do anything up here? No. Okay. Got all kinds of leads. Okay. Pencils, pens, that's a whole collectible genre as well. I bet the leads are even in here. If I can open one up. I can't open it with gloves on. I can't do anything with gloves on. That's why I hate wearing gloves. There you go. Yep, there it is. Lead is still in there. How cool is that? George is breaking into boxes. Is that in the it's box? It's a handle. It says, do your mending. So you would unscrew that. It's a stitcher. That's what it is? Mm-hmm. It's a speedy stitcher. So we don't have the needle to it, but we have the handle. The needle's probably in there, baby. Is it not in there? No. No, not in there. Exacto blades. Knife blades right there. Look at all this old school stuff. There's pencils and pens. Here's an old slide ruler. This is just crazy. Here, why don't you throw your box over there? I think it's safe to take our gloves off. You think so? Yeah. Sure would make it a whole lot easier to actually work. Because whoever owned this unit before took care of everything and it was nice and neat. There's a box, a Corona box. Coronas. More measuring tools? Yep, more measuring tools. Look at that! Babe, look at that. You had a triangle. Let me get this glove off. There's no way I can get this stuff off with gloves. This is ridiculous. This is, stainless steel this is where all shoe. the subscribers... You need to wear gloves! No, no I don't. Mm, not for this unboxing. Look at this. <clears throat> and it still has its original packaging. It's an it's a post triangle, six inch, right there. That nice. is so cool. So this person was a collector of... Everything. What we're soon finding out is this person was a collector of everything. everything. <laughs> if it was an antique, if it was vintage, if it was old, this person actually collected it. Collected it. Look, at, look at this ruler. Look at that. There you go. Multi-dimensional changes based on the angle to do your fractions. Wow. So cool. So that's all measuring tools. Mm -hmm. We've got books. Here we got more. Here's another triangle. Looks a light triangle, transparent, in the paperwork. That is just incredible. That is really cool. Here's another triangle. This is the Alvin. Yep, Alvin. It was purchased at Hazley and Griffith for a dollar and fifty cents, and I don't even know what Hazley and Griffith is. That outdates me. Irregular curve. Wow, I didn't know they had irregular curve. <laughs> Whatever that is. There's an old Ford extended service plan. Do you think people will buy pamphlets like this? Probably. We'll have to look it up. Cleveland ready reference. Maybe if somebody buys an irregular curved triangle, then they'll buy anything. There's some old pencils from the uh... graphite leads. 
this is just crazy. Look at this. I can't believe it's still in there. This is so old school and so cool. You got one too? Yeah, this is the stuff you want to put on display in a showcase. This looks like a drafting set. Let's see if it's in there. There it is. This looks like the old rubber gum erasers. I'm pretty sure that's a gum eraser. Oh, there's another triangle thing down there. It's labeled triangle. Adjacent triangle. Some more, more paperwork. Wow. And this has some snappies on it. Uh, Eugene Dyson Company. There you go. There's a complete and total compass set. If you would call it a compass set. If you call it something else, let us know. Because we're not all that skilled on antique compasses. Check this piece out. Okay, so this they used to carve out of one piece of wood. There's, this is just one single piece of wood that they made that into. There's no... And I'm guessing the same with that. That's for carving. Hmm. So they carved that ball inside of there. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. This one has me pretty excited, George. Why? What do you because see? Because Masonic. Masonic. You see that? May Sonic. That's not Sonic. That's not flies. eating. It also says coffee house. Okay. Well, let's hope it's Masonic. So I'm guessing Freemasons. I'm hoping Freemasons. This guy obviously was a crazy collector of awesome stuff. And oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, here, 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 here. Okay, we have American Legion, New York, USN. That has to be Navy. Look at that. We probably have a gold pin right there. Number 15, I'm not sure what that means, and I'm not sure what the 1012, that's probably, it probably identifies the Legion, but this is a good start. This top goes with it, it says American Legion on the patch. Oh, so the shirt? Sure does. What size is that? That is a, I don't know, but it's Aerocrat Genuine Flight Tech Fabric, 100% shrunk. It's dirty. It's definitely dirty, but very cool. All right, look at this. We've got a ripe tobacco, perfecto. And we've got the possum in the book. I'm pretty sure those are actually safer. Right here, right here, right here, George, George, George. Mm. I don't know what this is, but the postulant, a booklet of information those do elect to receive the first degree in masonry. Right here, Richmond, 1940. Okay, we're on to something. We're on to something. Another one. Second degree of masonry, 1940. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. Sublime degree of master mason. I don't know what any of that means, but 1940. I was never a mason. I was always a Hales. All right. <laughs> and... To those who want to improve themselves in the knowledge of the royal art, 1940. I suppose if we want to our learn buddy, what all this stuff one of is, our buddy is a mason. right there, we could learn it. Look, look, look! Introduction to Freemasonry. Oh, I can't believe this. I found a name tag that says, "I'm not going to show the last name, but here's the first name." I can't believe this. Another one. Another one. 1931 introduction to Freemasonry. We've got a bunch, a bunch of letters. We'll have to check those individually later. This is crazy, crazy awesome. Here's a uh, program dated 1941 for a college maybe. Senior class of New York State Agriculture and Technical Institute. 
Okay, we have Quest. This looks like this is the internet. This is not to internet. This definitely is not to internet. You know what this is? What is that? This is a navigating compass. Now this should hinge up. Ah, there it goes. Wow. That's so cool. This was in a little Quest box. Look at that. See if we can find any identifying marks. We've got, we got, yeah, we got the leveler. I don't see a year or anything. No stinking way. Okay, we can get rid of this, but we'll hold on to that. She's pulling paperwork out. I want to cover up the name. What is it? The Supreme Council, the Scottish Rite, Northern, this is, this is somebody being inducted into the Freemasons. What's the date on it? 1953, issued June 18th of 1963. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Babe, you know what this is? I think this is the pouch that they wore on the front of their their uh, suits. Their get-ups. Like this would go around your waist. So they would wear their robe and this would be in the front. Okay, for you Freemasons out there, let us know what in the world we have here. It's presented by the Lodge. Here's a certificate for the compass of I found his compass. <clears throat> Again, we don't think any of these items were actually owned by this particular uh, facility. Owner, previous owner. We think they bought all of this stuff and had like a resale shop. So all of this, this masonry stuff, we think this was purchased, garage sales, what have you, because none of these names line up with who actually I'm owned it. Pouch. Come on, 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 come on. You cheese. Pocket of air. You've been teasing me since the day I met you. <laughs> and you know it. Okay. Somebody was in the American Society for Metals. Not sure what that means. Frankly, people probably don't even, you know, they're probably not around anymore. Here's military discharge paperwork. I've got Navy paperwork. Yeah. Navy, 1943. This is Navy discharge paperwork. Yep, 1943. Again, 1943 Navy paperwork. Wow. This is... Very faded. This is... The tail end of World War II. What do I have this was here? Issued 1945. Here, look at this. Jacksonville, Florida. This was training center. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.